Hey guys, it's me, it's Ivan. Some of you guys have probably been wondering where the fuck I've been this past year or year and a half or however long it was since I uploaded my last YouTube video. Well, I've had a bit of a crazy, crazy year, crazy two years, crazy three years. I've been losing my hair. Look at my, look at my fucking forehead now. I have a five head now. Look how much my hair has been receding. That's how crazy it's been. It's fucking, it's ridiculous. But let me go ahead and just put it this way. I have not forgotten about you guys. There's obviously 2000 plus subscribers on my YouTube that are probably still waiting for content. And I know, I know guys, I'm sorry. I left you guys out on the street selling your ass to some dude or some lady, whatever's out there that, that buys subscriber hookers, I guess. I don't know, but I'm definitely sorry. I've, I've left you guys. Uh, I've been doing a lot of streaming on Twitch. That's what I've been primarily focusing on. I don't know. Some of you guys are probably like, oh yeah, you know, why don't you just, why don't you just edit your, your streams on a, on YouTube, you know, just cut them up and put them on there. Yeah. That's probably what I'm going to do. It's the half ass way of doing it, but for me to keep putting out content for you guys, my main priority has always been really a, a, a streamer. I feel like streaming to me is, it, it feels a lot more natural. I'm talking to an audience and it, and on YouTube, it's just completely different. I feel like, you know, a lot of stuff I can edit down and, you know, make me look a little bit better <laughs> at video games. And I don't want that. I want a genuine experience. Some of you guys that have been keeping up with me on Twitch know that I also took a break from streaming as well. A lot just happened. I was very, very stressed out. I was pretty much at a, like a pretty dark point in my career. When I started this whole thing, I wanted people to enjoy streams, videos, and just have a good time with me. That was the whole thing. That's what I wanted to do. That was the whole experience. That's what KS1 TV is. That's why the TV's on there. Cause I wanted to make it like a whole, I wanted to make it a thing where I just put out all kinds of different content. And at the time when I started this, I had a pretty stable job. I was doing good. And then I wasn't really prepared. And eventually that's what happened. I got laid off and I was, I was unemployed for about a year. And that whole year, that's when I started taking streaming and content creation really seriously. I was streaming like every day, at least when I started, I, I kind of did want to make it a profession. And I tried, I really did, but it, it's definitely a lot harder than it looks. And as I kept doing it, as I kept trying to shoot for those goals, I just completely, I lost, I really, really lost dedication. I lost dedication in doing it that year. I ended up getting a job and it was probably, it, it was a job that I, I didn't enjoy a lot. I was working at a computer repair shop. I was just extremely stressed all the time. I had to deal with a lot of customers that were dicks to me people that just thought they were better than everybody. And I wasn't used to that because I've always tried to be friends with everybody. Obviously there were times where I wasn't the best streamer and I lashed out at people. And if there was ever times like that and I lashed out at you, I completely apologize for that. It was definitely unprofessional of me to do something like that. Going back to the whole computer repair shop thing that I was working at, people were just assholes to me. They were dicks and yeah, I understand that's customer service, but I was never really used to that. I was never used to having all the negativity and people just being dicks. And it was just something that I couldn't handle. I just wanted to be in the back doing the whole computer repair aspect of it. I didn't want to have to deal with people, but unfortunately that was one of the things that the job required me to do. I, I had to do, I pretty much had to talk to a lot of people and you know, I had to, I had to sell a service that I felt bad sometimes because I felt like we were overcharging. I didn't really feel comfortable. I mean, it wasn't necessarily lying, but it was more of like, okay, we got to push this out to make money. And it was something that my boss, like, you know, made us do. And I just wasn't comfortable with that stuff. So I began looking for a job because uh, I, I knew how to get out of there. I was always stressed out all the time. I was depressed. 
and I was consistently leaving streaming and YouTube and I just I, I just felt like shit all the time. It, it, it really made me feel like a shitty person. But now that I look at it, it's obviously a learning experience and I don't regret ever working there, even though I spent two years without making any kind of progress. I don't regret it at all. You know, it's a learning experience and it just made me stronger as a person. It made me prepared for the outside world and just seeing how people can really be. So I ended up finding a job that was really, really close to my house, five minutes away, exactly, maybe six. Anywho, um, I'm not gonna say where it is, but I've been extremely blessed with this job and I've been there for a year now and it's just a complete mood change. Everybody's so positive and everybody's just happy all the time. Everybody greets me when I walk in. Everybody's professional. And the most important thing is that I've made a lot of progress there within the one year that I've worked there. It's definitely inspirational and it's the positivity that I need. And I'm in a really, really good place right now. And I just couldn't be more thankful. And I just want to let you guys know that I will be uploading more stuff on YouTube very, very soon. I actually have a lot of stuff with more stuff with with your boy Uber Hacks Renova. If you haven't seen his streams on Twitch, he's actually streaming a lot on Twitch now. And I've been on a few of his streams. Uh, yeah, I am. In other words, special needs guy. I guess that's what they call me over there. So I do have more more gameplay with him. We did one with uh, it was Riskum, James and Cry Cryotic. So that's actually that's actually a really, really fun gameplay video that we did. So I'm going to try to get those uploaded as soon as possible. In the meantime, a lot of the stuff that goes uploaded on this channel in the future is going to be highlights from Twitch and primarily let's plays that i've recorded on twitch in case you see something and you you're watching the video and i'm talking to somebody it's because i'm actually reaching out to chat i'm sorry but i'm gonna do my best to get those videos out to you there is let's plays that i need to put up there right now i am playing shenmu one and two and i'm actually doing a giveaway for shenmu one and two for twitch subscribers you can, you know, if, if, if this is normally where I drop the whole thing about Amazon Prime and stuff, I just wanted, I wanted to keep you guys updated on that. And I'm also now partnered with, actually, I'm partnered with two people now, two peeps. And th this is four. I have two twice. I don't know why. Two of them. That's right. I am a partner with GOG now. Good old games. You guys have never heard of GOG. Lots of awesome old games. That's drm free that's right and speaking of drm free there is an initiative being put out called fuckdrm.com i'm gonna go ahead and link that as well so you guys can look into it um it's written by one of the dudes over there over there at gog it's it's definitely a, a good read but apart from them i also recently got partnered with fanatical fanatical.com yes guys i know i'm selling out but i feel like you guys should really really know about both of these websites because they're both fantastic and you're going to save a lot of money on video games using these two websites whether you want older games like you know gog focuses more on the older stuff they do get newer stuff later on but you know if you're focusing on new stuff then fanatical is the way to go enough about that i'll go ahead and link that in uh, the description that's it guys that's all i wanted to keep you guys updated on yeah that that's it that's that's fucking it I'm still alive, so I have not forgotten about you guys, and I appreciate everybody that's still on here subscribed, or people that come by and, and still subscribe to this channel, even though I haven't uploaded shit, or even some of you guys as well that have unsubscribed. I know I have a lot of unsubscribers. I was at 3k subs at one point, and it definitely, it obviously hurts seeing that, that I was there, and because I wasn't putting out, that's right, putting out. You gotta do what you gotta do. And try. And try. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put out for you guys, put out hard. So hopefully you like the content. Yeah, this is ASMR now. ASMR. I love you guys. 
I will see you guys soon. Be on the lookout for whatever changes come to the channel. Bye.